Okay, so um, this demo is using a cobalt, cobalt oxide, cobalt oxide, to make a create the image of blue and white. Okay, blue and white surface on the pattern, and um, by um, diluted a different variation, you can actually create a variations of a light blue to the dark blue. And I also show you later on if you have a glaze or no glaze, what does it look like? But first of all, we have to kind of think about what is the um, blue and white. So um, the project is asked for a um, closed form and plate, right? So um, what we're doing is um, um, so we can create the shape. We can have a inside drawing and outside drawing. And then so, um, that's one way you can actually create a, a variations of the pattern. Plus, if you have, you can see this is almost like a screen and we go all the way around, okay? So first, blue and white. Where does the white come from? And white, white. We talk about the lecture, white is from what? Porcelain clay body, right? Porcelain clay body is a white. Yes, and blue is from cobalt. Therefore, if you use a white porcelain clay, they will naturally show like this, like this one right here, they don't have any glaze, okay? They don't have any glaze. So you can actually put it, um, um, the, the color of a clay and the cobalt to create the surface like that, okay? Now, um, first, what happened um, if you, because a lot of students probably don't have a porcelain, never use a porcelain, you only have a stoneware and your stoneware is dark clay, so what do you do? You paint it, so you can paint it during your greenware, right? So you use a color slip to do it, right? So if you, what happens if you have a bisware that is dark? And we talk about, we're using something called on go, on go, on go, which is right in here, we have an equal part of custard, EPK, and silica right there. And those are not glazed, so what does that mean? That means it just changed the color of a clay. So if you look at this right here, this is a dark clay. If you brush the um, oxide, I mean the ongo right here, basically ongo is made out of uh, kaolin, which is a main ingredient for porcelain, which is white. So you can change the colors, yeah? Because what happens if you paint your oxide on the dark clay body? Uh, oxide upon the dark clay body. Probably not gonna see, see it as much as if you put it on the white background, yeah? Mm -hmm. So when they do the blue on white, they don't use it on the dark clay, they put it on the white clay, yeah? But if you don't have a white clay to change it, you can put it on greenware, which is using a color slip, or you can use on the bisware, which is painted on go over it. And then if you see right here, this is what I did. I painted, this is a dark clay, recycled clay from my school. And I poured it a um, ongo over it. Now I have a lighter background, you see? If I don't, it's gonna look like that, right? So I wanna have like the white, wider clay body. Again, why do I wanna have a wider clay body? This is a dark clay, this is a white clay, so I can see my cobalt outside. Make sense? Okay? Because again, if it's dark, you cannot see the cobalt blue. We good? Okay. If you have a sold, uh, if you have like sold day or B-mix, they look like this, not quite as white as the porcelain, but still good. You can do the um, demonstrations. I mean, you can do the, um, um, what is it called? You can do the um, painting, okay? Now the difference between a bowl and a base, which is a requirement, is because easier, uh, to, I just want you to try, you know, how to decorate inside and outside. So sometimes when you have a white clay, you feel like anxious, you don't know where to start. So what you can do is you can actually mark it. Mark it into using, using of course using the, um, not this, but using, using um, like pencil because pencil goes away. So I'm gonna mark it right here right here, right here, and I actually can connect the dots like that, you see, right here, using pencil, okay? Don't use a marker, okay? Right here, 
So now you've got three sections that you can break them and you can do the colorant. Okay, yes? Mm -hmm. What's the problem with this one if I start decorating? It's dark. It's dark, I won't be able to see it. Yeah, but I'm showing you how to break in sections so you can just decorate here. Number one, number two, number three. You can actually break it into six so you have a smaller panel instead of like a large paper and you don't know what to do. Yeah? Okay. Once you've got that done, once you've got that done, it's easy. Now you just need a five container and I usually put it into the one, two, three, so I know which one is which, okay? Could be the lightest, the darkest. Idea is the same volume, same, same volume right here. If you're gonna use this, scoop the uh, uh, oxide and you make sure they all the same, okay? And then I'm gonna dilute it by adding more water. We got it? Okay, so if you look at right here, this lighter blue is actually diluted, dilute the pink, okay? So the rest of it is very easy. You just add them up, right? So again, mark the paper. So we're gonna have the oxide. We're gonna open it up, okay? Now, if you notice the oxide right in here, you can see oxide is metallic oxide. That means it's a heavy metal. If you look at me right here, this is a water. You see it? My water is a, it's just the water. So therefore, all the oxide is settled on the bottom, yeah? So if you just scoop right now, you're not getting the right consistency. So you need to make sure that you stir, yeah? So I'm gonna take this out, because I think this is all the very heavy. And then you do wanna wear some glove if you're very sensitive. I'm gonna take this out, yeah? So I'm gonna stir that. I'm gonna stir really well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you keep stirring until every, I mean, all the particles that are suspended. Okay? All right, so I'm gonna take this, so you can see the color kind of, all the water suspended, so I'm gonna take this. So I'm gonna first, I'm gonna use the same, whatever the spoon this is, half tablespoon. So again, I'm gonna take this, come right here, I'm going to put one, one on each cup because they are all same concentrations, yes? Mm -hmm. So that's just like five different shades of blue? So Not yet, there. because they are same concentrations, yes, five different shades of blue. Now if I make a variation shades of blue, I by adding water, so I can add First one I did not add. Second one I add, one. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. So now I have four variations of a, of a blue, right? How can you tell? I'm gonna take it right here. I paint it right here. Make sure that's the different variations of brushes, yeah? And right here, right here, right here, right here. Because if it's the same, it won't work. So I'm gonna take this, okay? Right here. Take this. So this should be the strongest, yes? The darkest. And I'm gonna get to the next one, stir them up. You can see kind of dilute it a little bit. Third one. Fourth one. Fifth one. So it's just getting a little lighter. Very subtle. But can you see that it's a little lighter, right? Can you take a a brush and then do one and then one and then one and then one kid laying on there and getting darker? Absolutely. But you just have to take more time to do it. Yeah? yeah? Okay? So make sure the pencil is separating so you can have get variations of blue. Yeah? Okay. Now are we good so far? So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna do a little um, demonstration. So I'm not sure. You can see this. I'm gonna draw some painting. You can use a pencil to sketch it out first. 
okay? So maybe like, you know, I want to draw it right here, this, this, things like that. Or you can divide it into a way, okay? But once you paint it on there, it's hard to get it off. It's hard to get it off. So I'm going to use the darkest because I want to make, so let's see, right here, use that. Once you put it down, it can't really change it. So you just have to, uh, if, you, if you sketch it out, it actually will help you a little bit, yeah? So I can use the lighter one, you can see. So I can use the darker one. Even this little line right there, it's gonna show blue. Yeah. Take this. So again, I'm gonna go back. I can like lay a few more times. We'll make it darker. Yeah. Do, you, do you recommend using a different paintbrush for every? Shade? Yes, absolutely. You see this shade right here? I kind of separate it a little bit, and this is only use the hard one. So this is the most diluted one. So I use it on this one. So if I this is if I'm gonna have because I'm making a landscape that says if I want to have a lighter landscape, which is far further away, which is a little. So I can do that, so that will be lighter. If I use this, I can go back to darken it just a little bit. So you see the brushes are different. But make mm -hmm. sure you always kind of, if you only have one brush, just rinse it, go back, go back. Yeah? Mm -hmm. um, and this one here is another one. You guys have any questions? So this is, and then once you do that, then you're going to coat it over with the, uh, clear coat, clear glaze. And then once you put the clear glaze over, it looks like covered, you know, but don't worry. The clear glaze, as long as you pick the right one, which is what we use as common clear, it will cover it when you glaze it, but after they fire, they will come clear, okay? They will come out like this. See it right here? Okay, this is using common clear. But do you, did you notice that one side actually shinier? Then this side, this looks a little matte. This is a little shiny, right? So this is like a full strength. And this one just lighter, almost like no glaze. So if you don't want too shiny, you just kind of dilute it a little bit of your glaze. Yeah? Okay, and this one basically no glaze whatsoever. Not sheen. No sheen to it. When I say sheen, can you see the shininess? Yes? This is high sheen, low, low sheen. Yes? Have a little sheen to it. Okay. So that will be it. And I'm gonna put my name on it. Updated this year is 2012. Um, Did you make this too? And then I'm gonna put my name on there. And then I'm gonna do that. Again, these need to be one more layer of a glaze. Yes, any transparent glaze will do. Done. And go make more. Turn it off.